Spain has been a market which has been pretty dry in terms of uh, real estate transactions in the last probably five years now. Uh, what we see is that through the restructurings that the government has taken in place in the government uh, by forcing the banks to take provisions or by creating the largest real estate company in Europe, uh, we start to see some liquidity uh, in terms of different types of transactions from the big real estate, public or private companies in need of some of liquidity uh, or recapitalization. In terms of hard assets and properties, we need, which need some cash in order to attract some, some tenants. Uh, and in terms of very large real estate portfolios spread all over the country, uh, which are up for sale. I think it's probably, I, it, it's, a, it's something that I question myself probably every night. Uh, sometimes I feel that it's maybe a cultural thing. Uh, sometimes I feel is that it took us longer in Spain to react to the problematic that we had on the real estate sector. Uh, the reality is for several factors, lack of good quality of information, um, um, badly priced assets uh, across the board, uh, over construction which led maybe also to poor quality of the assets, uh, a difficult economic climate within the country. Uh, and possibly delaying the looking for solutions for those issues created that there were no transactions. Today the picture that I see is that maybe we have those issues but a different attitude towards tackling them and one of them is attracting foreign capital to invest on those opportunities. I believe that this is the year 2013 in which um, in terms of transactions, if there was really nothing happening in the last five years, 2013 is the year in which will be the tipping point, uh, possibly through the opportunistic type of funds, which hopefully will attract the more type of core buyers, which need some stability of yield, some comparables, and need counterparties in terms of trading, which give them more certainty of execution and that brings the stability that the real estate sector needs in order to get to that tipping point.